Hello, lovely people. It's Hila here, Hila at home. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate you. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and like the video. I put out a lot of lifestyle content. So if you like getting some inspirational, positive vibes on this stuff, then do subscribe. So today's video on the very last day of March, I'm actually doing my March favorites in which I share with you some of the things that I have been really into, some of the things that I've been found in super useful and that I've been really enjoying this month. Now, because of the accident that happened at the beginning of the month, wherein I suffered second degree burns, uh, quite a few of my favorites uh, revolve around the healing of the burns and trying to reduce the possibility of scar tissue. So let's get started. With that in mind, once I had uh, been through the process of going to the hospital and getting sorted out and ensuring that there wasn't any nerve damage or anything like that, I began to think about, well, how are we going to deal with the scarring um, issue because the burn is down my thigh and pelvic area, thankfully. Uh, so no serious organs were harmed or anything like that. So uh, I started reading up into it and it turned out that you know, when you're looking at dealing with scars, you have to approach it from an internal aspect as well as from an external topical um, aspect. So the first thing is I got myself some high quality marine collagen protein powder. So the collagen is required for rebuilding new skin. And, you know, it says on here that you're supposed to take this for hair, skin, nails, and joints. Now, I do practice keto. I'm uh, not practice. I, I do the keto lifestyle and I've been keto for several years. Um, well, and so I do take collagen um, already. So when it came time to replacing the collagen, I actually got this marine collagen because it did come highly recommended. And I do tend to stick to uh, bovine uh, based uh, collagen rather than the marine stuff. So this was my first time actually trying this, but I'd read on forum boards and things to do like that with burns recovery that this came highly recommended. So I decided to get it because there are other people who've been through what I've been through and they were recommending that I take this. I'm not a big fan of the taste, to be perfectly honest with you. And once I am healed, I'm probably not going to go back to this one. But this month, every morning, I religiously take this with a cup of um, hot water. I use a uh, hot water and one scoop. So it's a powder, right? And it's got this scoop in here. And I'll do um, one scoop of this. And that's my hot drink because I decided that I'm going to stop drinking coffee because coffee is a diuretic and it will interfere with my body's natural healing system. So I'm not taking any stimulants or anything like that. So that's a favorite number one because each time I take this, I'm just saying heal my skin, make sure that my skin heals, you know, nicely without much scarring at all. So there we go. The second thing is uh, silicon, um, silicon scar sheets, which apparently help to, again, reduce the formation of long-term scars. So you basically have um, the scar sheet that you put against the wound and it keeps it nice and clean. It allows enough air circulation, but not enough to dry it out and cause scabbing because one of the uh, things that uh, makes scars even worse is when you get the scabs and then you remove them. So the idea is that it keeps it nice um, and moist. So I like it. Let me see if I can show you what um, these look like. It makes a bit of a crackly noise. So I'm just going to pause, open it and show you what it looks like. Okay, here we go. Um, so it's a, it's like a silicone. So it's a little bit uh, sticky. So you take that off and then you layer them so i've got like um i've got bigger square ones and i've got these smaller square ones which i put around the the wound and then i cover them over and i leave them on they're very very comfortable and they don't stick to the skin at all and they're supposed to be uh, really good and this is the stuff that uh, they also use for helping people uh, who are recovering from surgery and they don't want the scars to form so i'm also using these which is pretty awesome. And then the other thing that I'm using is um, some wheat gem oil. So this is the topical application that I am putting on the skin around uh, where the burn is. And 
This is a very good natural source of vitamin E. I do keep this in the fridge though because in the past I found that vitamin E oil does go rancid quite quickly so I do keep it in the fridge. During the hot days that we've been having these past couple of uh, days it's been quite nice you, you know having like a cooling oil to just massage around the area where I've got the dressing. So that's the vitamin E oil from Tisserand Aromatherapy. So really, really good quality, really highly recommended. And I've been using it elsewhere as well. I've been using it on my hands as well. And it's just really nice. It doesn't have much of a strong fragrance. It's it's just got like that um, natural oil earthiness to it because everything has got some sort of a smell to it. But because it doesn't have any added perfume or anything like that, it's really, really lovely. So that's the vitamin E oil over here. And because I've had a lot of downtime where I've been reclined, I have, I'm probably back at about 60% mobility. I still have to be careful about things that require bending over or squatting or anything like that. Um, I've had a lot of downtime and I've been uh, number one, watching a lot of TV. So the other thing that I wanted to talk about, my favorites, is the Chinese TV dramas that I have been watching. I did a video about Ashes of Love because my mind was just completely blown away by how good that TV show was. And I spent an age trying to find out which one should I watch next. And I just finished uh, watching 10 Miles of Peach Blossom and I absolutely adored it. I was completely smitten. I fell hook, line and sinker for uh, Yehua. I'm definitely team Yehua all the way. And it was just, it was just the most adorable, heartbreaking, but adorable, but loving, but with a happy ending, but so amazing, incredibly complex stories that are very well thought through with very few plot holes. Oh, I just, I loved it. So I'm continuing on that streak of uh, loving the uh, the Chinese dramas and continuing to watch those. But I think that they're a big part of my life now. <laughs> And then the other thing is I've been doing crossword puzzles, you know, just to keep the brain nice and sharp. And I love this crossword puzzle book that I got from Aldi for only £3.99. It's got a really nice cover to it, which is why I liked it. In the past, I've gotten the, the cheaper crossword puzzle books that have um, just a... Um, really knocky paper and they're just not pleasant but this one's got like a really nice soft uh, foul leather embossing and it's got this this is Verona and I love traveling to Italy so basically for me anything that kind of touches a little bit on Italy I'm just like ah because I love love that and yeah so it's got uh, these crossword puzzles they're all same they don't get harder as you go on. They're just sort of like the same uh, level. And so I've been doing that. And I just, yeah, I love it. I also love the fact that it's got like a marker to show me where I'm at. So I've been going through this. I love crossword puzzles like crazy. I'm now on a hundred. Yeah. I'm quite far along. I'm sort of like on 102 and all that. But yeah, it's 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 a good one. I uh, got it from Aldi. I'll definitely be picking these up again when they show up in Aldi. They also had a word search one, but I'm not a big fan of word search. Maybe next time I'll try Sudoku. But yeah, crossword puzzles have been keeping me busy and entertained. So another thing that I have been loving a lot has been using my five minute journal. So I have had this for uh, several years now. I think it's going on to five or six years. But, you know, it's something that you practice. Uh, sometimes you sort of fall off the, you know, fall off the path and you're not doing it um, as often as you should do. But the five minute journal, the principle is that it teaches you how to practice gratitude. And it's got... Um, you start off by writing, I am grateful for, and you write three things that you're grateful for in the morning. And you write, what would make today great? Three things that you think would make that day great. So you have to do this in the morning before you get up and start your day. And then you have a daily affirmation. And then it's got the evening section where you think about three amazing things that happened today. And how could I have made today better? This is a really awesome thing, right? And I, I, I really love it. And I hadn't been practicing gratitude. And so when I had the accident, I did have a little bit of a time where I was slightly wallowing, but I was just like, snap out of it, snap out of it, be grateful. It could have been a heck of a lot worse. At least it happened to you. It wasn't the kids. It wasn't and all that. So 
Um, yeah, so I've just been reinvigorating my love of the five minute journal and just incredibly great. This is my second one um, that I'm on and I highly recommend it. And because the format encourages you to look for the good things, you know, because um, you have a filter in life, I think. And I certainly found that for myself, if I'm wallowing and I'm just focusing on all of the negative things, that's all I'm looking for. And that is all I will see. I, I will find things to confirm that negative belief. But when I learned how to switch over to gratitude mindset, I, suddenly I can see a lot of things that I can be um, grateful for. And this really helped to pick me up. And because I'm such a productive person, like efficiency and productive productivity should be my middle name because I'm constantly on the go, 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 getting things done, getting things done is kind of like my thing. One of the reasons why I was feeling down was that I just felt so useless and helpless. And normally I'm like the operations officer of our seven person household, arranging everything da, 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 and all that. And suddenly I was just stuck in bed, unable to do anything. And I was trying to be like a, you know, an in bed driver trying to say, Kiss, can you make sure you do this and all that, you know, and I just had to, to stop. And, you know, so I got myself into that mindset where I was just focusing on, oh, you're so helpless and so thingy and all that. But when I switched over to a gratitude mindset, it was actually beginning to see that, you know, actually it's not as bad um, as it, it could have been. There hasn't been any nerve damage and things like that. And it just really helped to lift me out of that funk and just get me back into realizing that, yes, this is a slowdown. I have to take the time to allow my body to recuperate. And that is a good thing. So, yeah, highly recommend this. This is good stuff. It's a hard bag. It's really strong very durable and it's got the instructions for how to actually do it on here and i like its vintage vibe and it's got this really nice scratchy thing so five minute journal highly recommended and i also have been loving this uh opi nail envy gel so it's a clear color and it's just a nail strengthening uh, formula and it's just in this really cute little little bottle and I've been using this uh, uh, quite a lot uh, lately, actually, because I've just been keeping my nails uh, short and I haven't had time to do like proper nail varnish, nail manicures. But this will protect this will protect my nails whilst I'm, you know, sort of laying about and taking it easy. But I just love how cute and adorable it is. So that's OPI Nail Envy Nail Strengthener. OK, so the next one has to do with looking after the pearly whites. <laughs> so I'm a big, I'm a big, huge, huge, huge fan of oral hygiene. I have a water flow, so I've got a sonic toothbrush, which I'm going to show you now because I recently got a new one, which I'm absolutely loving. I've got interdental brushes. I've got flosses. I've got all of that. And that's because I'm making up with the fact that I didn't used to be really good with looking after my teeth. And so I have a few fillings in there, but now my, my teeth game is absolutely, um, up there so i decided that i was going to try this regenerate um enamel science tooth uh, tooth uh, toothpaste and it's quite good it's quite interesting so it's got it doesn't have any more fluoride than your uh, the colgate uh, total that we normally use but it does have i think it's got an extra um, calcium something something or the other i'll put it over here but it's quite it gives me a different mouth feel when I use it, which can only be a good thing, um, I think. But I've been absolutely enjoying using this. It does feel like my teeth are getting a little bit, a little bit wider, just a little bit. But in combination with this, I also had to replace my toothbrush. And so I got um, this uh, Sonic toothbrush on Amazon and it has been amazing. It's got uh, different setting. It's got a whitening one. It's got a normal clean and it's got one for sensitive teeth and it's got one for polishing and one just for massage. It's got replaceable brush heads. It's a rechargeable one. So it's got a USB charger and it is so easy to use and the bristles are shaped to really be able to sit against your teeth because when you're using a sonic um, toothbrush, you don't have to do the whole super brushing and pressing hard you just sort of like have to gently place it against your teeth and then it's the you know it's the oscillating nature that's actually going to allow it to do the amazing thing that it does 
Um, but yeah, I've been loving it and my teeth have been feeling so nice and my mouth has just been feeling, ah. so even when I've been sitting there watching my sea dramas, I've just been like, yeah, got nice <laughs> clean teeth. So the combination of the Regenerate and this has been um, amazing. Lovely. Okay, so the other two things have to do with perfumes. I kind of was in a bit of a perfume um, phase very recently, which kind of got... Uh, a uh, cut short by the injury because I found that I couldn't stand the smell of perfumes when I wasn't feeling well, which I think might be something to do with an evolutionary biological thing or something. But I found that as I have been getting better, I've been able to wear perfumes, but particularly lighter perfumes, especially now that we're in spring. Okay. And so there's this oh, that I've been absolutely loving. And it's a Sarah Jessica Parker. And it's one of the flankers called Stash Privé. So, okay. I'm going to be honest. I bought this first because it's pink, because I love pink, but the juice is also really, really good. So it's got this very light, it's a, it's, it's a very beautiful light floral. Um, it's a very beautiful light floral fragrance. And it's just got the tiniest hint of musk, which comes out later with the dry down. And I've been wearing this for the like last four days. And for me, that's like a marriage because normally um, I've got perfumes and normally I'll want to wear a different perfume each day because I think, what am I feeling like? What am I feeling? But this one, I've been wearing it for four days straight and I'm still absolutely absolutely loving it i love the bottle because this looks like those old-fashioned whiskey bottles so it's got a very nice theme to it and it's just got this lapis thing stash oh it's so beautiful and it's very light it's very similar to uh chanel Chan uh, i think it's called chance au tendre so it's very light delicate and feminine and Pink is the perfect color for it. Uh, frankly speaking, it just reminds me of the blossoms, the fruit blossoms that we get in the orchard. So I've been loving this. So this is Sarah Jessica Parker uh, Stash Privé. So it's one of the flankers. Love it. So the other perfume that I have been loving, which has been a favorite for me, it has been this Salvador Dali <laughs> Laguna. I'm not actually wearing it. It's got coconut themes. It's a little bit heavy for me at the moment um, when I smell it. But I have it on my uh, basin in my bathroom because I just love how it looks. I just love the color and I love this. It's like a little piece of art. And so each morning uh, when I go into the bathroom, I'm like, morning, Mr. Dali. Good morning. So I just do my... So just, there's just something so quirky about um, this... Uh, bottle here and I just I absolutely love it not so much the fragrance I'm not that much into the fragrance right now I think that this is a high summer fragrance I'm not feeling it right now because we still have a little bit of a chill in the air but definitely when it gets nice and hot this is going to be something to wear but look at that it's got a nose so the cap is a nose and then those are lips <laughs> so yeah pretty awesome so that's been one of my uh, favorites Okay, and then the last thing is I actually got some Tresemme Heat Protectant Spray, which I've been using on my hair after I've done my uh, protein dip conditioning and my moisturizing treatment. And then I'm going to use the hair dryer. I just spray this on and then I use the hair dryer. And it's been doing a really good job of keeping my hair nicely moisturized without getting dried out, which was what was happening before I started using the heat protect spray. Um, yeah, so it's been uh, quite awesome, this Tresemme. It smells lovely lovely if the smell doesn't stay for a long time either and it just seems to work even when I do two strand twists or when I do roller sets it's still fantastic um, for that so yeah it's the keratin smooth tresemme heat protect spray so that's it guys those are my favorites for today a mixture of you know medicinal medical stuff all the way through to frivolous luxury things like perfumes that you just like for the bottle and I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did do give it a big thumbs up uh, down below uh, comment and also subscribe it really helps the channel and I appreciate you very much and until I see you next time lovely people take care now bye <music>